Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song said. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song said. And I could do all things. I could do all things. I can do all things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid of the moment. I'm not afraid. I can't hold it. I gotta show it. So, you might have heard a rumor that I left the social media unit at my police department. And I'm here to tell you today that those rumors are indeed true. Now, I want to explain everything uh, on the reasons why I left the unit, but before I do that, I want to explain how the unit actually came about and how it started. It's going to help tie everything in together. So let's begin. Back in 2015, I was in the tactical robbery unit. Now that unit essentially is a proactive unit. Uh, it's, a, it's an elite unit, it's an undercover unit that we patrol in unmarked vehicles. And pretty much you're out there to apprehend violent robbery offenders, uh, homicide offenders, violent felony offenders. So you're out there proactively patrolling the streets in an undercover unit, uh, doing high risk stops, it was a lot of good times, a lot of good police work was done, and a lot of good memories were made. Now, during that time, I got a phone call from, hold on a second, this guy right here, Sergeant Reyes. Well, my soon-to-be sergeant, I had no idea, but he calls me up and he says, Hey, Nick, I want to start a vlog for the police department. And I was like, Dad, that sounds amazing. So we had our little laugh and he sends me a couple YouTubers uh, that have a vlog that was running on YouTube at the time. It was Casey Neistat, Ben Brown, Fun For Louie. He says something like this. So after watching those YouTubers, I said, man, if you could swing this to the chief, I'm in. So a couple weeks later, he did just that. He spoke with the chief. Chief loved the idea. Chief actually started pitching us ideas for the vlog. He said, not only are you guys gonna be doing the vlog for YouTube, but I want you guys also to manage the entire police department's social media. Now this is a big deal because this police agency has been around since 1896. And this was the first social media unit to be created by this department ever. So we actually got to be a part of history. Quick little background about myself. Uh, prior to being in the social media unit, I have dabbled a little bit in videography. I went to YouTube University where I would see things, uh, how to edit and how to do this. I would search it, look at it, and then I would do it on my computer. So I consider myself a YouTube University graduate. Never went to any kind of technical school or any kind of degree in videography, just kind of learned on my own. Now, my sergeant, uh, he also is a professional photographer. So he learned his craft on his own, YouTube University as well. Together uh, with my knowledge on how to edit, his knowledge about the camera and how to properly expose, uh, it was just a perfect match at the time. So with the okay from the chief, December 2015, the social media was officially started. We started on our cell phones. We didn't have any cameras or any computers to edit. I would actually grab some of the footage that we shot at work later, go home at night and edit on my personal software until later we found uh, some money in the budget where we were able to purchase equipment and then we got cameras, we got a couple MacBooks and then we were off to the races. So at the end of 2015, Social Media Unit starts. 2016, we really ramped it up. over the, the vlog here. Turn it on.
they're trying to find a dog that's suitable for me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But they're all laughing every time they say something. So exactly. I'm like, Did you get it today? I can still get down here. Yeah, we're gonna get them uh, more and stuff and ready to go. Alright, talk to you. February 2016, the very first Miami Police vlog episode was shot and it was released. All right, day one, first vlog ever, I'm excited. Let me show you what we got going on here. Good morning. Oh, I see you filming me. How you doing, sir? Good morning. Good morning, all right. Uh, hey guys, welcome to our office. This is our office. This is where all the magic happens. The movie magic. You are now in the social media unit. It was a big thing because at this time there was no other police agency on YouTube doing anything close to what we were set out to do. Now we understood the way that social media worked. We did our research and we figured out that Twitter was more like a news feed. So you could tweet, tweet, tweet all day. Uh, we had Facebook that loved two to three minute like PSA and entertaining educational videos. And Instagram was all about the fun light side uh, of our department, putting up uh, visually stunning uh, photographs and doing lighthearted, friendly content. And then you had YouTube where we were doing our vlogs. We can do a 15 to 30 minute vlog and have people sit there, watch the vlog and be entertained for 15 to 30 minutes and it was all good. So we understood there was a strategy for each platform and we addressed uh, each platform accordingly. So what that meant was we were doing content for Instagram, separate content for Facebook, separate content for YouTube, separate content for Twitter. It was a lot of work. Let me explain to you how many days a week that we work. We work four days a week. We work four 10 hour shifts, which equal to 40 hours a week. So on the first day we would come in, uh, we would come in and we would brainstorm our ideas. We would set plans for the rest of our week and then the next day we come in, we would execute. Usually it would be a video for Facebook. We were putting up one to three videos a week on Facebook. So usually we would shoot the next day, day two, would be shooting for Facebook. Then day three, I would go out and shoot a vlog for YouTube. And then by day four, I was pretty much editing. Now, a rule of thumb for editing is that every minute that you see of a video, equals about one hour to edit. Again, every minute that you see on a video equals about one hour to edit. So remember what I said, 40 hours a week. By the 30th hour I was shooting or I was done with my YouTube vlog filming it. 15 to 30 minute vlog. So that's 15 to 30 hours a week that I will have to edit, give or take. Time out. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, Nick, you're putting in 30 hours of your own time, boo hoo. That must be a lot of overtime that you're putting in. No, negative. I wasn't putting in maybe three, four hours here and there, but it was more an investment in the future. I knew in the long run that this was all gonna pay off, so I didn't mind doing it on my own time, editing at my house on my time off. So shortly after we were up and running, we scored our first viral video. The Running Man Challenge. Killed it. Killed it. Our first viral video, but it wasn't our last. Several times after that, we also went viral. 
We went viral with a Pokemon video. So what is it? It's a gaming app based on the original handheld game Pokemon, but with a new spin. If you're by a body of water, you might find water type Pokemon like this little guy here flopping. Well, since we're here, we might as well catch the little guy. A fishy, 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 fishy. We went viral with a blue whale challenge video. You ready to take a picture? Three, two, one. Challenge over. So what you just saw is an example of what a kid might do if they accept the blue whale challenge. Guys, welcome back to another edition of Social Media 101, where we bring awareness to the dangers associated with social media. We went viral with one of our police memorial videos. Mama, take these bears from me. Cause I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark, too dark to see. We went viral with a video explaining to the parents to not tell their kids that the police were gonna come and arrest them. That's Frank, you need to behave. Look at the officers, they're gonna take you to jail. Mira, si no para de llorar, te lleva la policía. Mira, mira la policía. Parents, you understand that when your kids are misbehaving, it's tempting to say something like you just heard. But in reality, we don't do that. By the end of our first year, we were invited to the Social Media and Law Enforcement Conference, and we were up for an award the best large agency in social media. And guess who won? That's right, we did. The finalists in this category for large agency is are Atlanta Police, Miami Police, and RCMP British Columbia. And the winner is, you may have guessed, Miami Police. So yeah, we were able to travel uh, in the social media unit. We went to California, we went to Boston, we went to New Mexico City Beach after Hurricane Michael to assist with the police department up there. So we were doing big things. Not only that, we were doing collabs with other agencies, California Highway Patrol being one of them. We collaborated with our fire department. Unfortunately, it's our most viewed vlog on YouTube. Go figure, a fire department, more views than our SWAT team. So we were moving and grooving. We were hitting home runs left and right. We were looking to set records, and we did. We ended up garnishing views from all over the world. We had subscribers come in and visit practically on a daily basis. I've had the Dominican Republic Supreme Court Justice come with his family. Now his sons were like 15 and 16, so I figured that his sons were the ones that watched me on YouTube, and I said, hey, how you doing? They had no clue who I was. It was him. He's like, no, 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 they don't know who you are. I'm the guy who watches you. People from all over the world were admiring the Miami Police Department. And when it came time to hire, people were lined up, ready to turn in their applications. So this social media thing was just great. The strategy was a success. We put together a formula, a recipe, or, or what have you, and we were following it to the T, and we had nothing but success and results. So Nick, this all sounds great. Why the heck did you leave? Well, as I said in the beginning of the video, we were there when the unit started. We came up with the strategy. We did the work, we put in the effort, the time and effort to figure out each platform and what content would work best on each platform. And I think we did a pretty good job. Over the years, uh, some things changed, some strategies changed, and the mission was the same, however, the road to get there was a little different. It wasn't go out there and create something, it was more of we need this done, and it became a lot of work. I told you about the hours of the week, I told you about the hours it took to edit, and I told you about all the time that I put in on my own. So it just became a little bit of a burnout after creating a video and looking down the line, and there was 10 more videos to do. Eventually, my sergeant, who became like a big brother to me, he decided that he was going to further his career and take his talents to the Miami Police Academy training unit. Without his set of skills around, the majority of the workload fell on my shoulders. Now, I don't wanna overlook the fact that Gio arrived 
uh, about a year before we left. After the vlog that this guy did, he did fantastic. So, guess what? We brought him over to social media. Coming over with you guys. He came over That's here. It. Gio came in, he did a tremendous job. He's still doing a tremendous job. He's there, my hat's off to Gio. Is that when Gio came around, since our social media unit grew in popularity, there was more workload to take on. So Gio came in and took on the excess workload that we had already been doing. So let's say we were doing 100 videos and since the popularity gained, we were tasked to do 150 videos. So we still had the 100 videos to do, Gio picked up the other 50, but once my sergeant left, then his 50 kind of just went on my shoulders. And that's a lot of videos to handle for two people. Forget about it. So yada, 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 I had a lot of work to do and I was just getting burnt out. Not only that, the strategy was a little different, it was a little changed, and I always had it in my mindset. Since I went through the police academy, I said that I would like to do my career and towards the end of my career, I wanted to teach at the police academy. I wanted to end up at the police academy. I said that I wanted to gain knowledge from police work and my police experience and pass it on to the new uh, recruits that were coming through the police academy to help mold the future officers. And that's just been something that I've said since the beginning of my career and I had a chance uh, to go and do that. So once that opportunity presented itself, I chose to go over to the Miami Police Department's uh, police academy and I left on my own accord. So no, I didn't get kicked out. No, there wasn't a big fight. I'm, I'm actually really good friends with the chief, uh, one of the best chiefs that I've worked under. And so everything is good all around the block. I just was tired. I was burnt out and I wanted to forward my career and do something in police work that I always wanted to do. Not to mention, I was able to start my own channel, as you see here, Nick Off Duty, and I'm able to do a little bit more than I would be able to do at the police department. For instance, police cars. At the police department, I can't really justify me going around touring other police department's uh, vehicles. Well, on my own time, I can go check out police vehicles in Los Angeles, at LAPD, at California Highway Patrol, at Florida Highway Patrol, Fort Lauderdale Police Department, with my boy Officer Jay at Sunrise PD, UMPD. So the world is at my fingertips. I have a lot more creative freedom. Um, the chapter of the social media unit has closed and I have no hard feelings towards it. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Look, I picked up a camera. I had a liking to videography and creating movies and that led me to being a part of the social media unit. Before I was a part of the social media unit, I would do little videos with my son and I would put them up on my social media accounts. And I'm guessing that's how my sergeant found me. That led me to the social media unit and the social media unit chapter has now come to an end and has led me to the Nick Off Duty channel. Looking back, I'm grateful for everything that I had. Grateful for you guys for sticking around my day one subs all the way to my Nod Squad members and some of you guys that are hybrid day one Nod Squad members. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking around. I apologize, I just couldn't find the words. Once I decided to leave, I was like, man, when the time is right, I'm gonna let everybody know. I just couldn't find the words. I'm very comfortable where I'm at now. Anytime you have some kind of change, it's kind of weird at first, but then you settle in, you get at peace, and you're just kind of in a rhythm. I'm there now, things are good, uh, life is good, and I'm very excited for where this next chapter is gonna take me. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I see you. Thank you guys so much. Not squad. Out. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. I can do all things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not afraid of the moment. I'm not afraid. I can't hold it. I gotta show them. Gotta get up in the morning. I gotta do it for Kobe. Lately, I'm zoning. Lately, I know where I'm going. Taking whatever controllers. Show me opponents. Show me opponents. I got a gift and I'm starting to own it. Yeah, yeah. We came a long way. And that's what the song says. And I can do all things, I can do all things, yeah, I can do all things, yeah, yeah, we came a long way, and that's what the
songs say And I can do all things And I can do all things And I can do all things Yeah, yeah, we came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things I can do all things Yeah, yeah, we came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things I can do all things Yeah, yeah Shout to the city that raised me Shout to the people that made me I'm from the 80s I don't think mumbling wavy I grew up black on a daisy Maybe I'm crazy I ain't been wondering lately Feel like it's there for the taking Feel like I'm good with the changes Know who I am And that's the most dangerous statement Yeah, yeah We came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things Yeah, I can do all things Yeah, yeah We came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things I can do all things Yeah, yeah We came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things I can do all things Yeah, yeah We came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things Man, I can do all things Yeah, yeah I check the scoreboard Know what I'm good for When I check the scoreboard Man, I'm thinking too far Man, that's what I'm good for Yeah, yeah When I check the scoreboard I know what I'm good for When I check the scoreboard Man, I'm thinking too far And I know what I'm good for Yeah, yeah Cause we came a long way And that's what the songs say And I can do all things I can do all things Yeah I can do all things, yeah, yeah We came a long way, and that's what the songs say And I can do all things, I can do all things I can do all things, yeah, yeah We came a long way, and that's what the songs say And I can do all things, I can do all things I can do all things, yeah, yeah We came a long way, and that's what the songs say And I can do all things, I can do all things Man, I can do all things, yeah, yeah You guys didn't think I was going to end the video without saying the final lines. Yeah, it's Adios. We came a long way. That's what the songs say. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah.